On day one, I spawned in as a baby bunny being chased by a group of foxes. Ah! I'm not even a day old yet! As a baby, I only had three hearts. I had to make sure I didn't get caught at any cost. I ran until reaching a massive chasm in the ground. There was nowhere else to go and the foxes were close by. Oh no, I don't think I'm gonna make it. With no other options, I took a leap of faith, hoping to make it over the gaping hole in the ground. Thankfully, I was a bunny, so my increased jump height gave me the edge I needed. I did it! Just as I thought I was safe, I noticed a pack of wolves were waiting for me. Uh-oh. I thought I was done for, until I heard a voice from above. Don't give up hope, little rabbit. A colorful magician appeared before me and began casting magical attacks onto the wolves. With his incredible powers, he was able to save me from certain doom. He turned to me and said, From this day forward, you shall be my new apprentice. I will teach you the ways of magic. And in no time, you will be a master of the mystic arts. Whoa, that sounds awesome! Make sure to watch until the end of the video to see how this turns out. On day two, I was traveling with my new master and I finally got the chance to ask him his name. Everyone calls me the great and powerful Marvin, but you can call me Marvin for short. Suddenly, a massive wolf beast appeared in front of us. It is I, Hades the Horrible. Hand over the rabbit now, or I'll have to take him by force. No way, freak. To my surprise, the wolf conjured dark magic and began to fight with Marvin. He was a sorcerer too. He was skilled in the art of fire and was able to shoot out flames like a horrific dragon. He set the entire battlefield ablaze while Marvin used his wind abilities to retaliate. The two magicians went back and forth in heated battle, but I could tell they were closely matched. While my master did his best to fight the foe off, he was too powerful to fight alone. Max, take this. In the heat of battle, Marvin tossed over my very own wand. This was my time to shine. Heck yeah, you're going down. I shot at the wolf with my new magical abilities, but I quickly discovered I had no idea what I was doing. I couldn't fully control it. I shot out small projectiles with my master, but ultimately Marvin still did most of the work. In the process of helping my master, I accidentally transformed a nearby house into a carrot. Oof, sorry! <laughs> that pathetic rabbit will never learn magic. In due time, I will grow more powerful and murder your precious rabbit. The dark wizard vanished, leaving me and Marvin to deal with the aftermath. Sorry. It's okay. I'll teach you to gain more control. But first, we have a show to start. On day three, after putting out the flames from our previous battle, the magician and I arrived at a grand stage with a massive audience waiting. What's going on here? You'll see the capabilities of magic firsthand by watching my performance tonight. I took a seat on the stage as the performance was about to begin. People from far and wide had come to see the amazing abilities of the magician. Marvin began to dazzle the crowd with his magical abilities. He showed off a variety of spells, including electric ones that sparkled in the sky like fireworks. He could fly and control the air and even conjure blades from portals. He knew how to please an audience and saved his most spectacular spell for last. He flew up and shot a massive laser from the sky, ending the show on a fantastical note. Whoa, am I gonna learn all of that too? The crowd fell silent and all turned to discover Hades the Horrible, going from the stage. Marvin is showing you all fake magic. I can show you real power in exchange for that measly rabbit. What the heck do you want with me? Your lucky rabbit's foot, of course. I'll use it to perform my greatest trick yet. I will make the world disappear. You're crazy, dude. You'll regret saying that. Hades summoned a massive boa on stage before vanishing into thin air. My master immediately began to fight them, but I wanted to help. I leapt from my seat and went into the fray. I didn't fully understand how to control my magic yet, but the creature was so massive, I didn't have a choice. I did my best to use my bunny speed and jump height to evade the monster's projectiles. In between evading attacks, I aimed carefully and swiped down the creature with my basic spell. Despite my efforts, the beast was too powerful. If it wasn't for Marvin, the boa would have surely killed me. Thankfully, Marvin was able to conjure powerful tornadoes and execute electric attacks that kept the horrible beast at bay. With the combined power of me and Marvin, we were able to defeat the corrupt monster. I'm being hunted down by a crazy magician. I have to learn how to master magic quickly. On days four through seven, I met with Marvin again to figure out how I should start my magic training. For your first mission, I need you to gather some gold nuggets for me. I have something big planned for them. Yes, sir. Marvin gave me some carrots and I set off on my quest for gold nuggets. On the way, I gathered a bit of wood and mined some cobblestone just so I had some basic tools on me. Eventually, I spotted the gold quarry I was seeking. Huh, that was a lot easier than I expected. Ooh. 
I turned around and realized that a group of zombified piglins were walking straight towards me. I didn't know how they got to the overworld, but I had to take them out and fast. I don't know if Hades sent you, but I'm sending you right back to the nether. They ran towards me in a group with the intent to kill. Thankfully, I had my magic wand to fend them off. In this isolated area, I didn't have to worry about anyone getting hurt, so I could go all out. I shot gusts of wind at them and slashed them down one by one. With my ranged power, they couldn't catch up. I defeated all of the piglins with my magic abilities. Upon their death, one of them dropped an iron pickaxe. It's my lucky day! I used the pickaxe to mine plenty of gold nuggets and began my trek back to Marvin. On the way, I spotted a glowing light in the sky. That looks powerful and magical. I climbed up from the source and discovered a strange altar with a magical item floating at the center. What's that? I hopped over to pick it up when suddenly a massive guardian came out and attacked me. I immediately summoned my wind blades to push him back, but I could tell they weren't as effective as I'd hoped. He launched me back with his powerful fist and dealt massive damage to my already low amount of health. I tried my best to dodge and weave around his attack, but it just wasn't enough to get around him. It was clear this golem was too powerful of a foe, so I started hopping away as fast as I could. Maybe Master knows what that was. I better go ask him. On days 8 through 12, I returned to Marvin and told him about my narrow escape with the Guardian at the altar. What you found was an ancient artifact that holds immense power. The Guardian that resides there protects it from all evildoers. Yikes. I better leave it alone then. I handed him the gold he requested and he quickly ran off into the other room to tinker with it. When he was done, he gave me a golden carrot. There you go. Enjoy this as your reward. I chowed down on some grub and grew into an adult rabbit. As an adult, I now had five hearts. Whoa, I feel much more powerful now. Then your training begins immediately. My master began conjuring enemies all around me. Defend yourself, Max. Use your wand. I quickly equipped my wand and tried using it against the strays. It's not doing anything. Believe in yourself, my boy. The power is within you. Suddenly, I started blasting whirlwind magic at my enemies, which sent them flying into the air above. They plummeted back down, taking plenty of fall damage as they hit the ground. Whoa, it's working! Good job, keep going. I casted the spell over and over, taking out the horde of strays with ease. I may have been small, but my magic packed a punch. The training was difficult, but through the struggle, I managed to master my very first spell. You did fantastic, Max. Come with me, I have a surprise for you. Marvin led me back into his home, where he had set up a little party to celebrate. I'm so proud of you. You're going to lighten so many lives with your magic. The two of us enjoyed the day together and chowed down on some cake. Little did I know, this would be one of the last times. On days 13 through 15, Marvin was giving me my next assignment. A true magician has his own domicile. Therefore, you must start building one if you want to continue growing. Ooh, that sounds fun. I found a new area and started with the basic structure of my base. I used a combination of wood and cobblestone I had gathered. I also added my very own crafting bench, chest, and furnace. Afterwards, I found a nearby pond and began making my very own garden. I placed some dirt, then tilled it and planted some of my carrots Marvin gave me. Dang, this is gonna take forever! With the power of magic, the growth process can be done momentarily. Watch this. Marvin instantly cultivated my entire garden into a field of carrots. Wow! Can you teach me that? You're not ready, child. Just like these seeds here, you must grow stronger before learning such a trick. My base was nearly perfect. I just needed a cozy bed to sleep in, but I had no wool. Man, why can't wool just grow on trees? They can, if you have the right skills. Just then, Marvin transformed a tree into wool before my very eyes. Okay, can you teach me this one at least? Of course, all you have to do is throw this. He handed me a strange wool stick and I went ahead and gave it a toss. To my surprise, it transformed most of the area into wool. I did it! Just then, a villager ran up to my master with urgent news. Sir, I've come to warn you. That big wolf from your previous show is headed toward the altar in the woods. That sounds fishy, Max. Let's investigate this immediately. On days 16 through 18, I accompanied Marvin to the altar only to find that the artifact was already gone. This is worse than I thought. That wolf could now possess powers beyond our comprehension. But wait, what happened to the Guardian? All of a sudden, Hades the Horrible appeared out of nowhere. Oh, that guy? He's under my magical influence now. He answers only to me. 
With magic, Hades summoned the Guardian right in front of me. Max, you take on the Guardian. I have Hades the Horrible. We split up, and the Guardian of the Altar barreled towards me. This was my chance to show my master everything I had learned. I hopped into the fray, ready to take on the massive beast. I led the Guardian out into the open field to make it easier to maneuver around him. I launched my wind blades to knock him back, but he was super persistent. His punches took a hefty toll on my health. Just like before, I felt like I could do nothing to him. Not even my new spell did anything. Despite giving it everything I had, the beast was too powerful. After all, I was only a bunny. I guess I won't see day 100 after all. Just as the Guardian was about to finish me off, Marvin jumped in and took the blow. Marvin? On days 19 through 21, my master was in the middle of a battle with the Guardian. Marvin used his wind magic to push the Guardian back, then sliced him down with swift gales at a distance. Whenever the Guardian got too close, he used his electric attacks to deal massive damage. It was clear that Marvin was a powerful magician, but the Guardian's enchanted armor was tough for even him to crack. The Guardian beat him down with his fists, but Marvin didn't submit. After one final blow, he managed to defeat the beast, but he was greatly weakened from the battle. Rick Max, we must go. You thought you could get rid of me that easily, Marvin? I have one final trick up my sleeve. <laughs> Hades the Horrible used the ancient artifact and transformed into a terrifying monster. He came at both of us with all of his magical might. Hades blasted us with his fiery attacks. However, unlike the last encounter, he was 10 times stronger than before. The battlefield was engulfed in flames as the three of us fought with everything we had. I got hit with a massive attack, leaving my health incredibly low. The wolves Dark magic was too powerful. Stay back. I'll take him up close. I did what I was told and shot spells from the sidelines. I knew one misstep would finish me. Marvin was strong, but after the battle with the Guardian, he had been left weaker than before. Even so, he fought with everything he had. He wasn't going to let the Dark Sorcerer kill me. I have one more trick up my sleeve. Hades conjured a spell unlike anything I'd seen before and hit Marvin so hard he broke through the terrain below. His attack brought my master to his knees and made me freeze in fear. You won't win this. Surrender the rabbit or else. I'll never give you Max. He's destined for greatness. Run, child! With the heavy heart, I did as my master told me and scurried off as fast as I could. I believe in you, Marvin! You can do this! Once I was a safe distance, I turned around to see if he was okay, only to watch in horror as Hades landed the killing blow. No! I will stop at nothing to capture you, rabbit. Your lucky foot will be mine. On days 22 through 24, I couldn't help but feel scared and confused. I was all alone and being hunted by Hades and his goons. To top it off, I only had two spells in my arsenal. I wish Marvin was here. I don't know what to do. Suddenly, a group of Hades goons appeared before me. Stop right there. You better give yourself up or this could get real ugly. They lunged at me and I had no choice but to fight them. It's either I try my best to survive or get captured by Hades. I used my magical abilities to shoot gales of wind at the pack of demonic wolves. They seemed powerless from afar, so I made sure to use my whirlwinds when they got too close. With the combination of my two spells as well as my bunny jumps, they didn't stand a chance. Phew, I guess I'm a lot stronger than I look. Just when I thought things had calmed down, a giant bear appeared. Don't get too confident, little bunny. <laughs> The behemoth lunged at me, dealing massive damage to my health. I tried my best to fend off his attacks, but he was too strong for me. As I am now, I can beat this beast. As soon as I saw an opening, I quickly dashed away from the beast and escaped from that dangerous situation. If I'm gonna beat a goon of that size, I'm gonna have to level up my arsenal a bit or I might actually die. On days 25 through 27, I suddenly gained five hearts. Wow, I guess all the sorcery has made me a lot stronger. Master Marvin must be looking after me. After that, I continued on, finally arriving back home after a long journey. Man, am I starving? I hopped over to the garden and began harvesting all of the crops. If only I could grow crops like Master did. Let me give it a try. I placed a seed into the soil and readied my wand. I shot my magic into the seed, but something didn't seem right. I am Carrot! Oops, how do I reverse this? I tried to turn him back into a regular carrot, but somehow the spell made him more enraged. Carrot eat rabbit! Ah! The carrot monster charged at me with all of his might, overpowering me in his sheer size. I had to keep him at bay with my magic if I wanted a chance to return him to normal. I casted my whirlwind abilities in combination with my ranged attacks to try and bring him down. I was finally able to turn him back into a peaceful carrot man. He even gave me a cool carrot sword. Well, since you're stuck like this, I guess you'll be my new best friend. I'll call you Conroy. But I am Carrot! Ha, <laughs> classic Conroy. 
On days 28 through 30, I was about to build Conroy a hut until suddenly a witch came out of nowhere and threw a splash potion onto me. <laughs> oh, with this potion, you'll be forced to follow me! Oh, Hades will be pleased! Help me, Conroy! I am Carrot! No! Unable to escape her spell, I followed her off into the unknown. The next thing I knew, I was inside her stew. Oh no! I don't want to become someone's dinner! I thought I was done for, until out of nowhere, Conroy appeared. I am Carrot! Conroy, over here! Come help me out! My little carrot friend understood that I was in danger. He quickly smashed the pot and freed me from the witch's stew. Hey, you mangy carrot! You're ruining my plans! Just find another rabbit, lady! No! Hades needs you for his spell! Any other rabbits would result in failure! Now come here! The witch ran at me, trying to capture me once more. I wasn't going down without a fight. I pulled in my wand and began attacking the vile witch. She conjured her evil magic and began firing projectiles in my direction. I fought as hard as I could while Conroy stood and watched in amazement. I used my new carrot sword when I could, but it wasn't enough to defeat the witch. I continued to use my magic wand while utilizing the spells I had learned. After an interesting battle, I defeated the witch and collected a shield she had dropped. Nice! And remember, Max Crew, stick around until the very end to see if I can defeat Hades. On days 31 through 34, I began building Conroy his own hut to show my appreciation for saving me. I wanted the build to match his carrot vibe, so I used green and orange colors to get the look I was going for. So, Conroy, what do you think? I am Carrot! Me too, buddy. Me too. After Conroy's hut was finished, I went ahead and began building a stage in honor of my fallen master. I knew I wanted to follow in his footsteps after his passing, and the only way I knew how to do that was by putting on a grand magical show. At the moment, I didn't have much of an audience to perform for, but I had to start somewhere. Conroy, I need to show you something! With my audience of one, I began performing a magic act for Conroy to enjoy. The only thing was that it was hard to tell if he was enjoying it or not. So buddy, what'd you think? I'm care- Say no more! I know! It stunk! Later on, I decided to go through some of Marvin's old things. Upon searching, I found one of his journals. Whoa! What secrets do you hold? I started to skim through the journals and quickly found tons of different powerful spells inside with various tests to learn them. This is what I needed! This is how I'll defeat Hades! On days 35 through 37, I followed the diary's instructions to learn the first spell. For your first test, you must traverse through an area rich in magic. It will enhance your power so that you can master the explosive cannon ability. After a bit of travel, I finally arrived at the first location the diary led me to. This has to be the place. It's so magical here. I began searching the area for clues, only to find one of the dark magician's goons guarding the spell I came to find. Ah oh, man, not this guy again. Luckily for me, the giant bear was fast asleep, so I began to sneak my way by. Everything was going great until suddenly I stepped on a twig. Oh no. The giant bear began attacking me without hesitation. Having fought this massive beast before, I knew it wasn't gonna be an easy battle. Oso slammed his body into the ground, making blocks of dirt rain down on my head. I used my wind blade to fight back, but still took some hits. Luckily, my whirlwind was able to push him back while I dodged. He kept stomping and trying to slash at me. I continued using my wind blade until I was finally able to get close enough. Using my carrot sword, I slashed Oso with it, finally killing the powerful bear. I might have been small, but this bunny power really packed a punch. I then moved forward to grab the spell. I guess that was the test. And I passed. I can't wait to learn what this does. On days 38 through 41, I began my journey back home. I traveled through a bunch of different bios, and along the way, I noticed that only a small percentage of the people watching are actually subscribed. Change that right now! I had finally arrived back home, but suddenly I hopped straight into a hole. Ah! A giant monstrous goon then appeared from the shadows. <laughs> we got you now. Hades had us set up a bunch of traps around your base, and it actually worked. The goon began charging at me, but I was able to maneuver around him. I figured this was a great time to try out my new spell. It was a vicious explosion. The goon furiously tried hitting me with its stinger. This thing was huge and scary, but my explosions luckily kept him at bay. I used my carrot sword to slice him when he got too close before causing more explosions. He continued to charge at me and swing his tail in my direction. I managed to dodge and hit him back at the same time. I delivered the final blow on the goon and won the fight. All I had to do now was get out of the hole. Luckily, I still had a lot of cobblestone, so I used it to build back up. Man, magic really saved my butt back there. I don't know where I'd be without it. On days 42 through 44, I moved on to the next chapter of Marvin's book. For this test, you must meet with an old friend of mine. They will help unlock your greatest strength as a rabbit. Speed. Head east. You can't miss him. 
Looks like I'm eastbound. I hopped off towards the location, but when I arrived, I discovered a racetrack with a turtle at the starting line. This can't be right. Turtles are super slow. Just then, the turtle turned towards my direction. Hello, Max. Marvin said I should be expecting you. I will teach you the power of super speed if you beat me in a race. Challenge accepted! This is gonna be easy! The turtle and I went to the starting lines and readied ourselves for the race. I knew I had nothing to fear. I was naturally gonna be the winner. Three, two, one! I raced around the track unbelievably quick. By the time I had finished my first lap, the turtle had barely even moved. <laughs> Just like I thought. This is gonna be... Suddenly, the turtle casted a slowing spell on me and took off running super fast. What? I tried to chase after him, but the slowing spell made it feel impossible possible to catch up. I was quickly left in the dust, and the race had only just started. No! I can't let Marvin down! I pushed harder and harder, until suddenly sparks of magic power started surging around me, and I took off at high speed. Is this my true power? With my unlocked potential, I zipped past the turtle and won the race. I was faster than ever before. I was able to cross the finish line multiple times over, without even breaking a sweat. Very good work, Max. This test was a success. <laughs> Nothing will be able to keep up with me now! On days 45 through 48, I decided I wanted to hold a big magic show to show off all the new tricks I had learned. I started by going around to different biomes to tell people about my upcoming performance. You don't want to miss the show of a lifetime! The Magnificent Max will blow you away! I'll pay you $5 to pretend you're interested! After a lot of advertising, it was time for the big show. To my surprise, I actually managed to pull in a decent crowd. Thank you for coming out, everyone! Are you ready to see some magic? Yeah! I started my act by showing off the various tricks I had learned so far. It was amazing, and the crowd I had really seemed to enjoy what they saw. After the show, some of the villagers from the crowd approached me. That was absolutely incredible. We'd love to stick around and learn some of your magic, if that's all right. Well, a good magician never reveals his secrets, but I could always use some help around the base. The excited villagers agreed to help as stagehands for future shows. With more help means more expansion. I started by mining materials underground to add to the base. While down there, I grabbed lots of coal and iron to aid me in the future. Once finished, I returned to the service and began building an entire living area dedicated to the new residents. After a lot of work, the base was looking fantastic. Well, well, well. It looks like you have a little fan club. On days 49 through 51, I was confronted by none other than Hades the Horrible. Back off, dude. You've already done enough. I'll back off once I have your foot. Why do you want to hurt me? You've already killed my master. Marvin, 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 Marvin. We were childhood friends, you know. Fell in love with magic together. We were both naturally gifted, doing complex spells from a young age. We used this to wow the masses. I wasn't finished, though. I had to learn more. Master magic of greater intensity. I turned to the dark arts, which included sacrificing innocent animals. Marvin did not approve, citing animals as our helpers and friends, not objects to be tinkered with however we desired. This caused a rift between us, a separation that caused me to grow angrier and angrier. He saw something special in you, and I do too. Please, surrender your life for the creation of the greatest magic trick this world has ever seen. Huh, let me think about it. No! Very well. It is time for me to take your foot by force. My flight response kicked in, and I ran away from Hades as fast as I could. Ha 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 ha. It's always fun to watch a good chase. Once I have my fun, that foot is as good as mine. On days 52 through 54, I was feeling a bit uneasy after my encounter with Hades. I need to gain power as quickly as possible. I've got it! I opened up my master's book and flipped ahead multiple chapters. If I could learn the most powerful spells now, I thought I could stand a chance. If you've made it this far, then you're ready for the final test. But be warned, this spell is only safe to use after retrieving the ancient gauntlet. I don't have time for that! I'll just try it without one! I went to an open location and began casting the spell. Before my eyes, portals appeared around me and launched swords from above. Yay! I did it! Wait! Ah! Ah! 
Ow! Ah! I realized that I had no control over the spell. Swords flew around wildly, hitting everyone and everything around me. Even an innocent sheep fell victim to the blades. No, I'm sorry! I quickly activated my speed powers and ran to cover to wait out the spell. Okay, they were in order for a reason. With that behind me, I went back and read chapter three. This next test will teach you how to shock your foes with incredible powers. Head west to find the building and your instructor. Whoa, I wonder what he means by that. On days 55 through 58, I followed Marvin's instructions and arrived at a strange building with a weird yellow rabbit inside. I told him my name and that I was Marvin's student. He welcomed me into his humble abode. Peek-a-bee, Pikachu! Pikachu, pika pika Pikachu! Suddenly, a creature appeared across the way and the battle had begun. All right, let's go. Pikachu! What? The creature took no time to wait for me and immediately attacked. Ah! I tried my best to evade its attacks while Pikachu continued to yell commands at me. Pika! Pika Pika me! I don't know how! Nothing was working, so I had to take matters into my own hands. With my wand in hand, I summoned my wind blades to whittle his health down and ate my carrots whenever I could to heal. Pika! Pika Pika! For some reason, that command worked. I started to use lightning powers. Wait, that worked? On days 59 through 61, I returned home from my training and decided it was time to put on another show. I don't think this stage is big enough. Time for a little TLC. I began expanding the stage to have a grander show than before. I used stripped acacia logs to make a sturdy structure for some fancy curtains. For the curtains themselves, I used green and orange concrete. I even added more seating to accommodate the larger audience. By sundown, my preparations were complete. It's showtime. The audience took their seats, and I stepped out onto the stage ready to begin my next performance. I conjured my new lightning abilities and zapped away, creating sparkling tricks that looked like fireworks. The crowd cheered as I showed off everything I had learned from my new training. Thank you! You can get your t-shirts at merchcraft.shop. No, seriously, we're selling MaxCraft t-shirts at merchcraft.shop. Go buy yours today! After a successful evening, I still felt like I wanted to make more people happy. I'm gonna build something fun for my fans. I got to work on a carousel that people could ride before and after my shows. It was a lot of work, but I managed to get the foundations done. All that's missing are the animals. Just then, a horse walked up to me. Oh my gosh, I'm a huge fan. Please, my friends and I would love to work for you. Actually, I would love your help, and you'll get all the carrots you want. The horses took their place around the carousel, finally completing the ride for everyone to enjoy. Thanks, guys! I am Carrot! Huh? I turned in the direction of Conroy's voice to find one of Hades' goons jumping through another portal with him. Hey! Come back here! On days 62 through 65, I hopped through the portal and chased after the goon in the nether. They couldn't have gone too far, right? As I hopped through the nether, I noticed a trail of carrot pieces on the ground. They must be close. I hope Conroy is okay. I followed the trail, but to my surprise, I found a killer bunny at the end of it. Wait, are you the killer bunny? You're real? Yeah, now back off my carrots, bucko. The two of us battled it out, but for a bunny with killer in its name, he wasn't that tough. After all, I was skilled in magic and he was just a regular old rabbit. I used my spells to put him in his place. Ah, I surrender. Your carrot friend went up that way. Thanks for the tip. I hopped towards the direction the killer bunny pointed in and finally arrived to find the goon waiting. There, he and Conroy trapped in a cage. My plan worked perfectly. Surrender your foot if you want your friend back. No way, you're going down. I sprang into action and casted everything I had into the horrible monster. He had crazy acidic magic, which was further enhanced by the heat of the nether. He cloaked himself in his powers and spat pools of acid that burnt me on impact. I used my bunny speed to evade his attacks in combination with my explosive magic, but they had little effect. It seemed like no matter what spell I used, he was able to tank them all. He casted a shower of acid to fall over me and had me on my last legs. Despite all of my training, he was too powerful for me to defeat. I had no choice but to flee. Conroy needs me. I have to find a spell to defeat this guy fast. On days 66 through 68, I read the next chapter of Marvin's book in hopes that the next spell would help me save Conroy. For your next test, you'll have to get your feet wet. Head toward the southern swamps to discover a new form of magic. I headed south and discovered a large beach. There, a small crab was waiting for me. Are you a friend of Marvin's? Yeah, man, you must be Maxi Boy. I've heard so much about you. The name's Crab, Mr. Crab. And if you wish to use that water magic, you'll have to learn to endure it. 
What does that mean? Yeah, embrace the water. Calm yourself and you'll see. I calmed myself like the crab instructed, and suddenly I gained water breathing. Very good, Maxi boy. Now come back to the surface and try some magic. I resurfaced from the tank and tried my hand at a water spell. To my surprise, I was now able to shoot water from my wand. You've done well, Maxi boy. Now, let us fight. Huh? The crab began blasting me with water magic, so I had no choice but to test out my new skills. The two of us battled back and forth with his aquatic powers. Although I'd only just learned my spells, the crab didn't go easy on me. He pelted me with wave after wave of magic, but thanks to my endurance training, I was able to take whatever he sent to me. I countered his attacks with swift ones of my own. We enchanted water attacks back and forth until I finally started to get an edge. After an intense battle, I showed the crab that I mastered the magic arts of water. I did it! Thanks, Mr. Crab! Now it's time to save Conroy. On days 69 through 72, I returned to the nether and confronted Hades' henchmen. Well, well, well. Is the bunny ready to surrender? I have one more trick up my sleeve! I began to cast my new water abilities onto the goon, who instantly began to take massive damage. Ah! No water! My only weakness! The two of us duped it out, but this time I had the upper hand. He spewed acidic magic at me, but he was no match for my water spells. I blasted him with a variety of water techniques. I even was able to propel myself into the air to avoid incoming attacks. The fight between acidic magic and water raged on, but after some back and forth, the beast finally went down. Conroy, I'm coming for you! I rushed towards the cage and freed my friend from his prison. I am Carrot, and Max's best friend. Oh, you're my best friend too, pal. As a gift of thanks, Conroy gave me some armor. I put it on right away. Wow, I look adorable. You are Carrot. My friend began his journey back home while I stayed to investigate the area. Just then, Hades appeared before me. Ah, uh, that worthless minion failed me again. At this rate, I'll need to get my own hands dirty. Maybe you should hire some better goons. You're becoming a nuisance, you pesky rabbit. Laugh all you want now, but that dorky armor won't protect you from my magic. Just then, Hades shot a massive laser at me, then tore away the ground with it. Thankfully, I had my super speed, otherwise I would have been a goner. What was that? You're not the only one who's been getting stronger. Have a taste of this. Hades the Horrible began to charge up another laser attack. I knew I didn't stand a chance as I was now, so I hopped away with haste. Ha 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 Run while you can, rabbit. This wolf will have your foot in due time. On days 73 through 75, I returned home safely, but I was feeling a bit discouraged. Hades is getting stronger by the day. Will I really be able to defeat him? I wanted to get my mind off of things for a bit, so I decided to start giving the base a facelift. I started by finalizing my stage, expanding it so it was even more grand than before, and even added some extra decorations for a bit of flair. I then finished it off with extra seating for more guests. Truly fit for the magnificent Max. Once the stage was ready, I added a food stand so everyone had plenty of carrots to enjoy while watching the show. With that, the base was finally complete. I think Marvin would be proud. As night fell, I was backstage preparing for my next big performance, but I was feeling a bit nervous. Jeez, Conroy, what if they hate the show? I am Carrot. Yeah, but... I am Carrot. You know what? You're right. You've always had such a way with words. I hopped out on stage and began to show off all of the wonderful spells I had mastered over my journey, including the new ones I hadn't yet shown off. I had grown so much as a magician, and I was still learning more and more. Thank you all! I was taking in the success of the show when out of nowhere, one of Hades' goons arrived. Party's over, bunny. Hand over the foot. On days 76 through 79, I was confronting one of Hades' goons. When will you guys just give up already? The boss is getting real impatient. I ain't returning empty-handed. My audience will get an encore then. The two of us clashed on stage, but he had no idea who he was messing with. He was skilled in sludge magic, granting him the power to run at super speeds. He launched disgusting attacks at me and tried to overwhelm me with his speed. Unfortunately for him, I was a rabbit, so I was just as quick. I blasted away at him with my explosive magic, dwindling down his health and putting on a flashy show for the audience. Eventually, I switched to my water magic to shake things up. He was strong, but the culmination of my powers was enough to wash him away. The goon was forced to flee for his life. You may have won this battle, but there's something big coming for you. 
You better watch your back. You stink! The audience cheered for my overwhelming victory, and I took a bow. Thank you, thank you! Well done, Max. I turned towards the familiar voice and realized all of my previous masters were standing on the stage. What are you guys doing here? It's time for us to give you your final test. Come with us. On days 80 through 83, my masters and I arrived at a strange battleground covered in abandoned swords. This is ominous. What's my final test? It is the spell of sword summoning. Oh. At that moment, I remembered what happened the last time I used that spell. Hey, I did it! Wait! Ah! Ow! Ah! I realized that I had no control over the spell. Swords flew around wildly, hitting everyone and everything around me. Yikes. I hope I can handle it. If you want to control this spell, you need to defeat the Guardian of the Gauntlet. Only with the Gauntlet can you cast this magic safely. Then there's no time to waste. I hopped deeper into the bio, in search of the Guardian. The further I traveled, I realized that this place was a wasteland. What's with all the swords? I wonder what sort of battle happened here. Suddenly, zombies emerged from the ground and attacked me. I took out my wand and casted spells onto the fallen warriors. But thanks to my power, I made quick work of them. This place is freaky! I better be close. I continued forward and discovered an empty pedestal on an altar. I guess I need to place an offering for the Guardian? I placed a carrot onto the pedestal and the ground trembled. The Guardian of the Gauntlet was summoned before me. You will not step foot in my domain! Before I could even pull out my wand, he teleported us to an AC landscape. On days 84 through 86, I was standing in front of the Guardian. What brought you to my dimension? I'm here to take that gauntlet and master my final spell! Fool! I've slain countless challengers who seek my spell, and you will fall just as they did. Prepare yourself! The Guardian threw at me with all of his might. The battle for the gauntlet began. The Guardian began summoning lightning all around us. I used my explosion to hit it, and it returned the favor with its own explosions. I swung at it with my sword before using my lightning speed to dodge the next attack. I used my sword a bit more and then went back to using my explosive skills. The Guardian's power was intense, but I managed to hit it with an explosion just in time to deflect its lightning strike back onto itself. Thanks to all my training, I took down the Guardian once and for all. I did it! Upon his death, the Guardian dropped my carrot offering as well as the gauntlet. Here goes nothing. I focused and tried the spell one more time. However, with the power of the gauntlet, I can now control my attacks. This is amazing! Just then, my turtle master walked up to me. You've become a powerful magician. Now, share your magic with the world. On days 87 through 90, I noticed some smoke in the distance on my way home. Although it seemed dangerous, I felt like I needed to check it out. I approached the source and discovered Hades cooking rabbits in a giant pot. No, no. All of you are worthless. I need Max's foot. Just then, the goon I had fought at my last show appeared. Did you get my rabbit foot? I, no, no, sir. I mean, well, what is a rabbit's foot, really? I mean, I didn't quite get the rabbit's foot, but, like, does it really matter that much? You buffoon! Hades knocked his minion into the pot below, <sighs> killing him instantly. Looks like I'll just have to hunt that rabbit myself. He doesn't look too happy. Hades turned in my direction, and an unexplained feeling of dread took over me. Feeling scared, I took off running. Come back here, Max! On days 91 through 94, I was being chased down by Hades the Horrible. I barreled forward as fast as I could, using all of the magical abilities I had to give me speed. Come back here, little rabbit. Your foot will be mine. I ran until I was cornered. There was nowhere to go. No! No, no, no! I turned around to find that the Dark Wolf had already caught up and was staring at me. I gotcha now. You may be fast, but rabbits can't fly. That foot is mine. No! Leave me alone! Suddenly, gusts of wind carried me upwards. I was able to fly just like Marvin did before. Oh my gosh! I did it! With my new power, I flew away from Hades to fight him another day. I'm coming for you myself now, and I won't fail like my minions before. On day 100, I will infiltrate your base and take your foot for myself. On days 95 through 98, I returned to Marvin's old stage to reflect on all the experiences I had. I remember the first time I saw Marvin's show and everything he had taught me. I missed my master, and I felt a bit disheartened. 
What if I can't defeat Hades? I wish you were here to give me guidance. Suddenly, Marvin's ghost appeared before me. I've always been here, Max. Marvin? I'm so proud of how much you've grown. But I'm still so scared of Hades. Was all of this for nothing? Of course not, Max. You've mastered so many spells that you can now wield the most powerful object in my possession. Please, step forward. I stepped in front of my master and he casted a huge magic spell in front of me. When the light faded, a lone staff sat in its place. I picked it up and instantly gained 10 hearts. I wish I could stay longer, but I must go now. You're the only one who can stop Hades. I believe in you, Max. Marvin disappeared, leaving me alone with my new staff in hand. Thank you, Marvin. I won't let you down. On day 99, I decided to try out my new power in an open area. I focused on my new weapon and shot powerful lasers that cratered the earth around me. With this power, I knew I stood a chance against him. It's time to end this. I returned home so I could prepare for battle. I harvested tons of carrots for healing in the fight ahead as well as extras for my residents to take with them. After gathering what I needed, I went door to door and informed everyone to evacuate. I even handed out some carrots so they had plenty of food for the road. You got this. Break a leg, Max. You know he wants to take my foot, right? That's very rude. I, I didn't mean- You've said enough. As the last of the residents left, Conroy ran up to me. I am Carrot? No, Conroy. This time I'm gonna face Hades head on. This won't stop until I end it. We are Carrot. You're like a brother to me too. I'll see you again after this is over. As Conroy went on his way, I could hear the sounds of heavy footsteps in the distance. It was finally time. Hades is here. On day 100, Hades arrived in my base for our final confrontation. He had the intent to kill. Well, well, well. You decided not to run this time. You're underestimating me. I've become a powerful magician. If you're anything like your master before, then this will be easy. Don't you talk about Marvin like that! He was double the magician you could ever hope to be. Double? That poor old fool would be alive if he was. Enough of this. This show was fun to watch while it lasted, but it's time to bring this to a close. The curtains closing tonight are on you! The Dark Sorcerer charged me for our final battle. We both came out of the gate swinging, using powerful magic back and forth. With my new staff in hand, I summoned giant lasers and different area of effect attacks all around him. These were incredibly powerful, but Hades was too. He clapped back with fire magic of his own, littering the area with flames. This made it difficult to traverse my base, but I was still intent on beating this evil magician once and for all. After a lot of fighting, I knew what I had to do. Using my wind magic, I rose into the air. This is for Marvin! I landed my most powerful attack, slaying Hades the Horrible and freeing the world of his dark spells. Fireworks shot off all around me in celebration. I was the best magician this world had ever seen. Thank you and good night.